Hello, today I'm tailoring Swifties. Swifties are clinically insane. These highly obsessive bunnies scour through Taylor Swift's music videos looking for Easter eggs that definitely aren't there. With the same ferocity as a private investigator searching for dirt on whatever boy looks like they could be Taylor's next mistake. Swifties come in all different variations, but they're usually overrepresented by highly organized girls who have a good relationship with their father, always remember people's birthdays, and find it incredibly easy to justify why it's okay for Tay Tay to single-handedly blow a hole in the ozone layer with her two private jets. Taylor Swift is a projection of the idealized, empowered self. Swifties now have permission to seek liberation and verbalize how their boyfriends are disgusting pigs because a pretty white girl told them it was okay to speak now, Taylor's version. Taylor Swift is my mother. Um, I love every part of her music since I was a little kid. Um, I love folklore, that's the best album in my opinion. And I'm getting a tattoo dedicated to that. You need to calm down. You're being too loud. Swifties are highly protective of their queen. If you play stupid games with Taylor, you'll win stupid prizes, like a death threat in Dear John's letterbox. Taylor Swift is the hero the Swifties needed. She's the Batman of feminism, but like feminism light, the type of feminism where she says she's a defender of all women and then has casual fun with well-known misogynist Matt Healy. Swifties are highly intelligent beings, but they only... Why are you laughing? This is a documentary. Swifties... Swifties are highly intelligent. <laughs> But they'll only ever use their mathematical skills to try to decode when the next Taylor Swift album is going to drop, or to find the geographical coordinates of Scooter Braun's location so they can dox him on the internet. Due to the sway of parasocial relations, Swifties think Taylor Swift wrote a love story about their lives. But really, Taylor Swift's lyrics aren't even about her. They're about everyone. That's the problem. Taylor's lyrics are so relatable that they could have been written by an alien civilization that's trying to simulate the general experience of the human condition. Which is why they get so confused when they spend all day on Ticketmaster looking for a pre-sale ticket for a Taylor gig that's like a year away and don't get one anyway because there's 50,000 Swifties in the queue ahead of them that are perfectly happy to hand over half a week's wage to witness Taylor's current era in her era's era. I've got Taylor Swift tickets. <laughs>